The big washes in August was Corey. A woman day and now get one from Cora. Kwa <laughs> 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 In die verlede is die in alle swart mense gediscrimineer. Hoe kom die san mense nou anders behandel word? A performance in Vinduk by a group from Nai Nai. The menstruation dance is still an important part of San tradition. In the audience, Kui Sa Kui, a student at the Polytechnic in Vinduk. <laughs> Kuisa comes from Grasshook. It's a communal farming area next to the commercial farms where many San find work. I look for bushman to come to the farm to get peanuts and eat. Good boy, kids. Yeah, and and it's not easy to find locations. Etla Karuwombe is the headmistress at Grasshook. The children are all San. The older ones go to hostel schools far away. The younger ones are luckier. Not many villagers have a school on the doorstep. It's a sign of changing times that farmers also want the children to go to school. Right. <laughs> when Kuisa was young, there was no school here. <laughs> Sit <laughs> <laughs> 
None of the parents at Grasshook went to school. They can't tell the children what to expect, and the new learners often find it hard to get used to the classroom. The teachers do their best, but lack resources. While the grade fours are given a task, grade three sits and waits. The community has asked for sand teachers, but there are none who are qualified. But a little jumkwa goes a long way. Some of the food in your mother tongue, also in English and in your mother tongue. Are you Yes, teacher. Okay, this one is a healthy food. True or false? <laughs> True. Okay. For us to have this a sun teacher, is, is, it will help us. Sometimes children from grade one, they are just coming from home. You need to explain them. That particular teacher who can talk that language is not there. So if there is a, a sun teacher, it, it will help to communicate among the learners and among the community wherever there are problems. We call it in our mother tongue, Ka. Everyone? Ka. Again? Ka. What is this one in your mother tongue? Ka. In English? Meat. Meat. The dropout rate is highest in grade one. All three teachers would like a preschool to help children adapt okay, to the classroom. We are going to count from one up to five. Then you are the government the agrees but cannot pay. Yeah? A playground bridging class at Grasshook helps the children feel comfortable at school and ready to okay. learn. Two. These kids without a preschool, they are not used to, to the school. They are running away, they are crying. Therefore, it's important to have a pre-class to prepare them for the next year. The checkpoint is a 12 kilometre walk from Grasshook. The older children wait for a lift to school, but are not always lucky. For grade 5 and above, the nearest school is 40 kilometers away and the next one 70. The parents might move to another farm while the children are away and they have no way of knowing if their children are safe. It's one reason why village schools like Grasshook are popular. Tuisa's sister Erna is the school cook. The school feeding program is one way the school and community can work together. For these sun people, it's very important because at home, at their house, sometimes they have nothing to eat. So at school, at least, they are eating something. But sometimes when we don't have food at school, the, the amount of the children is also dropping. Erna gets some food for helping out. Families find it hard to make ends meet and food is a big incentive to school attendance. Most of the children, they are just at home, going to the bush and collecting food. And it help, the, food, uh, the school feeding help more. When we got enough food, no drop out, no dosing at school, they are coming.
The harvest is priority number one. Growing up and becoming a mother is next. Kwisa's cousin Nahango dropped out of school and is too old to start again. She's family, so Mrs. Kui looks after her but is powerless to send her to school. When we come to this issue of education, ten children that at home you work in the morning instead of start your lesson at seven, you work heart to heart. Find the children that are there in front of their their hearts. Mom, try what is the problem? No, I don't have a problem. Please, mom, come, let us talk. Why is your child not going to school? No, ask, ask her or ask him. How can I ask a child for seven or eight years old who doesn't have a responsibility? Therefore, I say we are differ. In our time, our parents will just take a stick and say, you go to school. But the sun people, they are differ from us. It's not my responsibility to run after the, the children. But do that the parents sometimes they don't care. <laughs> On the road to Mr. Fremark's farm in search of children. Okay. From the commercial farm, they are not used to the school. When you come there, they just some some of them they are hiding, some they are looking strange to you and so on or running away. If the children miss out on school, it will be hard to catch up later. Erna Gui would like to read. It might help her to understand her card at the clinic. For the older girls, the adult literacy class is a last chance. Teaching starts in the local language and moves on to English. <laughs> I think literacy will help them. They can uh, attend this literacy class for English. They, uh, they, can, they could attend that in order for them to improve their English or to read and to write. Perhaps it will he help them in the future. But to sit just at home, I don't think that it will bring any help from them. <laughs> The Amanus Corridor. Joseph tends other people's cattle. His friend Aaron never went to school. He asks, how can you go to school when you're a slave? But times are changing. His children go to Motsomi school. Not many San from Corridor attend, and still fewer make it to the higher grades. Isak is in grade seven. <coughs> well, he was all the time. He was uh, teacher's um, blue eye boy. They actually they had him as a class captain and and um, give him things to do and ask him things to do. And he's getting the the keys of the class and his attitude is like. And, and, and he's into uh, his work, he's positive. Yes, do you understand anything? Yes. Fine, go on. Ask Isaac about school and he will tell you the same story as most parents from the corridor. What's that? Marie, 
Poor parents do not have to pay, but the schools do not always tell them. Actually, it's not sincerely the son, but there's uh, some of the poorer Chona and uh, Nama Damara speaking people that have problems paying this $40 a year. There's actually um, my policy with them is as if it is possible for them and with time come and they can contribute to this funds, uh, we will be glad. But otherwise it's not a, um, as if we can expel the children if they don't pay their school funds. Me get a massy, get betal the massy. Tone get a betal. Knock an amsi getanic master. Come on, you can sing or receive of who's in it. My net get a mind, you get a me back. Come on, stuff. Savoji, Savoji betal the man. I'm working having no one now. The community eyes the school suspiciously. Rumours going round the corridor that the headmaster made sand children work on his farm to pay the school fund. No, that's a lie. Genuinely, that's a lie. Well, I, I, I said to the children, they can come to my house here and they can wash my car, for instance, and I can pay them money and, uh, and they can contribute to the school funds, something like that maybe, but it never happened. Mr. Nell is furious and wants to hear from the community himself. The people are astonished to see the headmaster out of school. Okay. Uh, school of Nel had a common case, so the children from the Bushman say, "Can gratis school in the in the thirteen end." And the daddy hero, but as I am, the Kapa man had a case, so there was not any gratis school from the Bushman say ni. He le can now ni the school betal and on say on say children must gratis school can ni. Yeah, okay, wait now. Good, you pray now. Long story. So as I story, I heard that the children from my place too. Is that right or verkeerd? Ik moet niet wat komen. Dat is niet zo gezien. Nee, maar goed, zo, zo, dat is het voor mij genoemd. Of hoe zit het aan het dak aan? Of hoe houdt het goed aan? Meneer, ik kan je vragen. Kan je dan niet mooi Afrikaans praten? Nou, nou, of is het tolken? Nee, maar dat is zoek niet. Bad communications and misunderstandings lead to anger and mistrust. The deputy head is keen to resolve the issue. Bahikela <laughs> Yanu 
Priscilla Tsami also lives in corridor. She has no income and hopes that teaching at the new preschool would provide a little money. Her hopes for the school were dashed when the CCN removed the furniture they had provided with the building. So school. The community is waiting for help from outside. The tools for self-help lie unused on the floor. For Priscilla, school feeding is the main issue. She called Kakaki school, Kiki Sasa Sasa. Says Monday is a stop. You can stop. Marika Aka answer Kaka Aka sit a summer goosey. She died a car, Kissy Shua. For a classic school. Sit a goositora, no sang young. Marie, don't come down to Marie as a tie car. At Dreamyopsis, there is better news. The Roman Catholic Preschool provides facilities and a school feeding program designed to give the children from the nearby resettlement camp the best start on the road to education. How many days is there in one week? The teacher knows the value of preschool. It helps because if the kids uh, in the preschool or start with the kindergarten to the preschool and go to the high school, he, he get that power for, to go to school. Like now, we, we, we can take one of the preschool kids and one of that primary school grade one uh, 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 child. The preschool win them. They win them. The preschool when they, uh, uh, children, when they go from here, they can also get, go to put them in grade two because they are ready for school. They know everything. The good news stops at the gate of Dreamyopsis Primary School. Although the resettlement camp is next door, few of the sand children attend. Adelinda says the teachers are too lazy to teach the ABC. The children run away. Coco. The school Mother. teachers say there is no discipline in the camp and complain that the people drink. Berta and Sofia are both 15 and have dropped out. They told Adelinda that Dreamyopsis is the last school they would go to. My ma, my ma is near. I get the means to me a plane, and I get up. My pa is up to it, and I get me school hard, and I school hard, and I get up me sleep hard, and I get me school hard, and I get me school hard, and I get me clear school hard, and I get me to go and play, and I rest me my ma. I get me sleep me sleep hard, and I school hard, and I get me and. Mrs. Hengari is headmistress at the school. I don't think it's true. It's what I always say. If they want to leave school, then they have a lot of excuse. Mark, I hear the problem 
of as it need the honor research at the Google Makala. They, they also don't understand what is the need or maybe the importance of, of education. Or maybe what is the need of maybe going to school. They don't understand that. Even you can start calling, if you see that one leaves school for two weeks, you, you can send Elena to go and call her. Sometimes they come, sometimes they refuse. Even the parents, if you try to call the parents, maybe to, to ask what happened to your children, Sometimes they come, sometimes also they refuse. Sometimes the learners, even they refuse also to, to talk to their parents or maybe to listen to their parents also. Why is the kids not in the school? They say uh, they was there, but the teachers say they must go to, to bring their birth certificate. They don't even go to the camp and go to us when the kids are running away or don't come to school. And then I have go to talk to the uh, headmaster and then I tell her to go and talk to that man who was in charge, the coordinator of the camp. Must come to talk to them so that they can t take their whole kids with, who don't have the birth certificate with the parents to go and do it. But they didn't do it. <laughs> Dina Lucas is 10 and wants to go to school. Like many girls at Squin Haight Resettlement Farm, she dropped out of school early. She is hoping for a place at Gaina. Gaina started as a farm school. It takes children from both commercial and resettlement farms. With donor funding, it provides a happy learning environment for all children, including the same. They need a special place where people understand their needs. Many of these children, especially in the beginning, they didn't have any idea of what school was. They didn't know books, they didn't know pencils and all these things. Whereas you have the town children who grow up with these things. And this, uh, we felt this is a need. You have to prepare them for school, prepare them for a different environment, totally different to what they are used to. Audax Farm near Ochinene. Cookie Metzger employs many sand workers and makes sure that the children go to Gaina. They are looking forward to school. But no, they must watch out for themselves. Okay. Not all farmers go to this much trouble for their workers. Cookie thinks the 400 kilometer round trip to Gaina is worth it. If they drop out of school after five or six or eight or ten years, then uh, they at least they uh, learn to think and uh, get used to use their brain. And uh, I think it's a good investment later on than uh, my son or my kids can use more better farm workers. But if they don't perform, I take them out. So the kids who don't perform, I don't waste my money on them, then they can uh, go back to the farm. Like many farmers, Cookie will tell you that investing in sand girls is a waste of money. They just get pregnant. 
But he takes them to school all the same and pays Gaina's fees. His biggest hope is that one of them will become a teacher. Dina was not admitted. She is still under 16. She has not completed primary school, but she was too old for Gaina. We have problems with these older children. But they don't fit in with a class group. If you have a, 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 an 11 year old in grade one who has to play around doing grade one things, it just doesn't work. Children tend to drop out later as well because then they are at the getting married stage in the Sun community. The children get married very young. They take a husband when they are 14, 15 years old. So they are halfway through with their education and then they move off to get married. The children who come from resettlement farms, uh, the parents don't have an income in the first place. Most of them are not even well clothed. The children don't have clothes. We supply them with clothes because the parents don't have an income. The San have no livestock at Squinhait. Here, they should plant crops. The chief and the people wonder how they can earn money to pay school funds. Schoolzi, school funds ni ku ku ba tereka e te ju hinka u kora kwa nui ju ku hoka ose marika ba tereka school funds te aka kama wa dama. You will find that the sun parents very often don't even come to the office. They will sit by the gate or they will, they will uh, make their problem known second hand, or they might just go to the hostel. They won't directly come to the office because they don't, uh, they feel inferior. They don't know the school, or they don't realize that the school is open for them as parents to come and discuss their problems. Okay. Mrs. Smirits maintains that Gaina's doors are always open to parents, and especially to their representatives like Chief Langman. She knows that home life cannot be separated from school performance. Some children, if they have been home for a weekend, you can uh, judge what happened at home by the child's behavior the next few days in class. You will have problems with that child if he didn't have a good weekend at home. Maybe the father hit the mother or maybe there, there was a fight between drunk parents. You've got to try and persuade them that what they see at home isn't right. It isn't the best. The school is trying to find ways of involving the community. 
Digging out bushes is one way parents might pay school funds. An experiment was made with brick making, but the men complained that the pay was too poor. Frederick Langman wants to be friends with the school. He helps to translate in the early days to make the children feel at home. Making children feel comfortable at school is all important. The dropout rate at Gaina is tiny because the children are happy here. One teacher speaks Jumtgwa, which helps the children to adjust to the school routine. You can go anywhere in the world and people will all be taught in their own languages. Afrikaans people are taught in Afrikaans, Herero children are taught in Herero, German children are taught in German. So why shouldn't the Sun people be taught in their own language? At present we don't have enough books to teach them in their own language, but we, are, we have started this project so that they learn to read and write their own language. If we don't look after their language, they will adapt to other languages and they will lose their own language completely. In the Nai Nai Conservancy, the sand control the land they live on. The people have taken a step further. They have built village schools the children can learn in their own language, Jimkwa, for the first three years. The daily trek to school can be more than five kilometers, but not the only reason to be late for class. <laughs> The solution seemed simple. The community would build donkey carts to take the children to the five schools. But all of them are broken. None out of five, a bad mark for any school. But Nai Nai scores in the classroom. Teaching materials which follow the Jungkwa oral tradition have been developed using stories told for generations by the fireside. The teachers all come from the community. Motivation is the main qualification. Teacher training is provided in the villages with the parents taking part. It's a pre- and primary school rolled into one using educational materials that the learners understand. The idea is to prepare the youngsters to cope with the national education system and they integrate with other learners in grade four at Simkwe. <laughs> Tsumkwe school, 40 kilometers away. So many sand learners drop out, they are in the minority. Some of them, they come for the first time in Tsumkwe. The life which is somewhat a bit different from a child who grew up right in a sun village where there's not too much exposure of different people. Maybe he or she is used to his or her own parents. Sometimes they feel somehow inferior among the other kids. Well, those kids, they are somehow shy. If they come into a place and they feel that, ah, 
I cannot cope with the competition. Others are looking so, like so smart, what and what. He or she feels very shy and says, ah, for how long am I going to feel shy? He or she pulls away. It's a new school. They don't know whom to play with. They, and also these are difficulties because if they come here, the, the other kids who are here are beating them and then that's why they run away. And then sometimes they also said that that uh, it's it's not only that if they came from village schools to this school other kids are laughing at them because they don't have school uniforms and they are not wearing nice clothes and, and that's one of the reasons why they run away again naina had an innovative idea the village schools loaned two san teachers to tsumkwe school to ease the transition for learners paul emmanuel is one of them I feel she's quite a good role model in this school. Because when I look at the sunny girls, not even one has gone up to grade 10. They go as far as grade 8, they are pregnant, they go, they go out for marriage. But when they've got a person like Paula, they can easily go to her and talk to her. Sommige mensen aanvaard me als een onderwijzer. Sommige onderwijzers en sommige kinders ook. Zoals die school of zij, zij was blij om voor mij te zien, maar die andere nazi, zoals die vier herro onderwijzers daar zo, alleen was hij blij met mij niet. Want ik kon mij niet groot niet. Als we zijn personeel kamer in gaan, hij zien mij niet als onderwijzer. Hij staat voorbij zonder om voor mij te groot. En bij die kinders, Boesmans kinders, hij respect mij. De Mara kinders respect mij. Maar herro kinders, hij heeft niet respect met mij gehad. De San will be in the minority at Sumkwe, especially in the hostel, if the Nainai villages do not register all of the children and help the school to keep them there. Paula often drops by at the hostel to see that the sand girls are happy. Lucia Tui comes from Grasshook, over 200 kilometers away, and feels afraid in the hostel. They are afraid of us because they are, those families they are used to saying to stay in a bush. If they if they if they, if they <laughs> between the people of Zola they they, 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 <laughs> they stay in the bush. The time that when they are coming to stay with us they start to afraid because it's the life that they are not stay here to stay with. That's why they are afraid when they are they are with us. Lucia's family are not sure if school is best. At home in Grasshook, girls still follow the traditions. The menstruation ceremony is an important rite of passage for sand girls, with marriage next. Tradition hampers education. It should be put in the archives, according to the principal. She remembers one girl. See, when I sit outside behind the hostels there, for three days we were not seeing. And later on, when, we, uh, the, when she was asked, she was saying that, no, she was supposed to dig a hole and sit there so that all the the whole thing is done into that hole and cover it up or whether i don't know whether she will be shifting from one hole to another or she will sit on one hole until she finished but she was staying away from others until that process was over which means it's their traditional activity life which they which they hear we don't ignore their culture and all the like but um, we try by all means sometimes to teach them also what happens in the modern world because at the end of the day they will be learning we are encouraging them to learn, to go further with their studies. Suppose the child goes to London, and he is still using the traditional method, 
And when you are in London, maybe you are right in the city center, everything is pav paved up with the slabs of cement. She won't be able to dig the hole. So it's better to, to teach them both the methods of how to nest themselves, which is which I think is very good. The problem that the kinders for all the meisies weg play from the school af is swangerskap op school swanger word. The hostel bars don't keep girls in, and most pregnancies start at home. But the bars don't keep men out either. With the underwear, she can't. So as I, even underwear, it for me, she can't go no. In all the days, for me, go rub. I go give for me, bro. They say me can't go rub you ma. I do me go steer na even school can't. Say so, I push man me she can. And I'm not like they brought yet, and they make sure they drop. And I say, if they drop, ni, I can't even under or can drop ni. And from that, so it's a clear thing. The meeste kinders that no the busmans make sure under by the schools, no the school seals, ni we are the only visitors ni. There is only one San representative on the school board, and he complains that he is not told about meetings in time. He wants to increase community participation in the school. I'm not thinking, I'm not saying only Paula, but I think if there was more Zhonghua teachers, it will make it, I mean, more comfortable for the kids to, 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 to go to the school. Paula has traveled far down the long road to education and shown what is possible. While she burns the night oil to become a fully qualified teacher, she dreams about a better future for her learners. As a skin work a school mark for Bushmans, and the Bushmans is the meest kennis of the school. And the other Nazi is men. Then, as they take the seat by a bank for a living, and the seat is by a and as they eat, they under Nazi eats mark. Then shall they look each trek part of as they will for the slam. Then shall they look trek slam. Cruet Fontaine Magistrates Court. The headmistress at Grasshook has been assaulted by two San men. Her relative wealth and power in the village causes jealousy and tension. She is seen as an outsider who doesn't understand the community. Passions are high at a meeting called to discuss the issue, attended by the Chief John Arnold and Schools Inspector von Sittet. Yeah, yeah. The school board should work together with the headmistress, but has turned against her. She has called for help from the inspector. Good. Let's come now back to the to the other way. We can go check that out on the other side. That that like for me, the problem come when the man a bit drunk. No, is it right or is it verkeerd? Allegations are made. The headmistress buys drink for people when she goes to town. She makes a profit. Not everybody agrees. The headmistress takes children to the clinic. <coughs> The inspector has a simple solution for the immediate problem. I shall know enough as I come here to cry. I is not here to offer to learn. He is not here for anyone. He is not here for anyone to help his kids to help him in the place. Nothing. The girl has to go to the car for Om en zijn drie collega's, twee collega's wat samen met hem is. Hij voor de gemeenschap is hij net die zo om zijn kinders te leren. Ik wil hier een baie baie duidelijk weer voor allemaal wat nog niet verstaan nie. Die kanaal, die route wat ons gebruik, daar kom jullie bij mekaar die hele raad, die schoolraad, die schoolcommittee. En die hoofdman, hij komt terug naar die school toe en hij sê vir hulle, 
so wil ons het ons die probleem, hoe kan ons hom oplos? En hy sal weer terug gaan na julle toe, met hoe om die probleem aan te praat. The problems defy simple solutions. The teachers want more support from the parents. The community still wants a sand teacher. At the end of the day, many sand children are not in school. Many will drop out early, and some will not go at all. It's time for the girls to move the desks and spread blankets on the floor. Grasshook is growing and needs a hostel. Tomorrow is a new day. The teachers and community must make a fresh start. Tonight, a local group has agreed to welcome the learners and parents to the school. If the schools and communities listen to each other, the road to education may become shorter.